Hey guys, so this is Miss Curly Locks again. Rosa here. Uh, I don't know if I really said my name. My name is Rosa, so. Anyway. So, I wanted to do my first story time, like, in my room. Like, probably sitting in my bed, just all relaxed. And, um, you know, just having fun with it. But, life happens. And time goes by. It is time to go to work. So I keep end up doing my videos in my car, but it's just so relaxing and it's just, I don't know, I, I, I like it. I'm always by myself, so I have somebody to talk to. Um, I hope you don't get annoyed that, well I'm getting annoyed that this guy has his blinker on for four hours and he's not even getting over. Hello! Whatever. Anyway, sorry about that. I hope you don't get annoyed by the fact that it's raining and I have my winter wipers on. But anyway, besides that, um, I I live in the Midwest. Everybody knows um, Midwest, Kansas City, and you know we have we get tornadoes, and it's, it's normal for us. We we're used to them. Uh, that yes, they're dangerous and they're not fun to play with. This guy still has his winter. Like, who is trying to trick? Like, ooh, I'm getting over, no, I'm not. I quit. Anyway. Anyway. Everywhere, you know, different parts of the nation have their own little, you know, kind of natural things that happen. That's, you know, weather things and, like, earthquakes or whatever. You know, I, I hear that in, the, in California. Like, I have family in California, and they're just used to little earthquakes here or there. Well, here we're kind of used to tornadoes. Yes, they can be very damaging and really scary. So I actually have a story that I wanted to tell um, about my experience with a tornado up close. Now we've had, like I said, growing up, you know, we've been used to having tornadoes and we'd go in the basement, me and my brothers, we kind of thought it was fun. You know, get the blankets, get the water bottles, let's all go downstairs. To us, it was a time for our family to be together because um, we were always doing something. My parents were always doing stuff. And we'd always be spread out. So for us, I kind of think that it was like that, more of like, oh, let's all get together, have fun. Um, and well, there's this one time we were all camping. So um, when we would go camping growing up, like we would call my cousins and my aunts and my mom would call her side and my dad would call their side and we would all get together and camp together. It was something we always did um, and there, I don't want to say, I don't know if I want to say where we were at, but at this campsite, um, they had, we were, my uh, family, like my dad, my mom and dad, we had a small camper at that time. Um, and it was, I don't know, I don't know the exact footage, it was probably like a 20-footer, yeah, maybe you know, something like that. It wasn't like that big, but it was, you know, a big camper. Um, and all of our family, they had, we were the only ones with the camper, and then everybody else had like tents. Or maybe they had a cabin that they um, rented. But so when you're camping, you have like your chairs and your, you know all that stuff. So I want you to like picture just this normal campsite with a camper and tents everywhere and just, like fold out chairs everywhere. Um, and it was we started hearing tornado sirens and um, it wasn't like raining or anything. It was just like. We're all hanging out and we see here tornado sirens, the clouds start getting really, really dark. And um, we you know back then having your phone to like check the weather wasn't really the same. Um, we just had phones to make phone calls. And I know I say back then like it was a really long time ago. Like I'm really old or something, but oh it makes me feel kind of old. It, it was I was maybe I don't know, ten or ten or eleven and I'm now but so we knew a tornado was coming like we knew there was a tornado coming and we all 
ran like everyone's like go to the bathrooms go to bathrooms because the bathrooms there had uh, like cement blocks they were like cement bathrooms and it was like a shelter um, so everybody and their families filled these little uh, cement bathrooms and there was like it didn't matter if you're a guy or a girl just everyone was in the bathroom and I remember <laughs> I remember being young thinking, oh, there's boys in the bathroom, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just thought, like, oh, someone's going to get in trouble if they see us. Anyway, so, um, we're all in the bathroom, like, our families are, but, like, the guys, the, like, the men weren't, like, my dad, and, you know, they weren't, they were trying to, like, get everything inside the campers, they were trying to take all the food and put the food inside, and, you know, try to pack up because this wind was coming and they didn't want all of our stuff all over the place. So, um, they did what they could and I remember, like, waiting inside, like, what's going on, you know, we were in there for, I don't know, it, it felt like 20 to 30 minutes, but it could have been less. Because when you're little, everything feels like a long time. But, my dad was not coming in and I'm like, you know, you know, daddy, where are you? Like, come on. So I go out there, I run back down, um, and he's like, it's coming, it's coming. Look over there, do you see it? And I look, and I see the clouds were so dark. And I see like this little, tiny, tiny, tiny little funnel. Like, it was like a funnel cloud. And you can see it, I didn't even know it was a tornado, because like in the movies, they make it like this huge thing. like what are you talking about he's like it's right there and i was like that's a tornado huh like that's weird okay like like in my head like i was like that's dangerous oh whatever it was like miles away from us so it could have been big but uh he's like there it is get inside get inside so then i run back inside uh, with my my aunts and my mom and my brothers you know everybody we're all inside guys are out there still and whenever it came like and I was I was scared at this point like we're freaked out everybody we, all, we had blankets and we're all like trying to hide like they told us in school like put your head between your knees and cover your neck and all that kind of stuff we were doing that and uh, my mom and her sisters are just all talking like -da -da -da, like nobody like they didn't even face them and I'm all freaked out you can hear it come through. You hear all the leaves start ruffling. You're like going uh, like over us, and I'm so scared because, like I said, uh, like my dad, like my dad wasn't even in there, and I can't remember if he ended up coming in for the end of it or if he stayed out there. But I remember when we went back out. Okay, so here, let me start over. So the tornado goes through. We hear it, you know, we can hear everything outside. The tornado goes through and it passes, and they're like, okay, everybody can come out now. We come out. Oh my gosh. Everything was upside down. Like when you have a tent, you have stakes in the ground. And you have all your stuff, like your blankets and your pillows and your suitcases. Like, little wind is not just gonna pick up your tent. So, <laughs> there's tents upside down. Like, people's tents everywhere. The camper was fine, got rocked up a little bit, but the camper was fine. The chairs. I was like, oh my gosh, Daddy, look, 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 look. And uh, the chair was in the fire starting to melt. Like, it was on fire, and it was just starting to melt. And one of the fold-up chairs, it's my aunt's chair, and he runs over there and pulls it out and, you know, starts uh, getting the fire off of it. And um, just, like, everything. Like, I couldn't believe it. Just everything all over, just thrown everywhere. People's stuff, like, food and napkins and plates and people trying to gather their stuff and bring it back and, and I was like oh my gosh like is this real like did this really happen and um, my dad showed me he's like you see that ditch over there and there's like 